will have happened to him. We must find him. Oh, oh do be careful. He'll be dead. No, he won't, stupid. Yes, he will. I'm not going to look. Pete, do you think he will be? I don't know. We should just have to find out. Don't you think we'd better fetch the station master? Perhaps you were wrong, Bobby, and there isn't anybody. But I counted, I tell you. I counted. You stay here with Phil. I'll go and have a look by myself. I don't want to be left in the dark. Take the candle there. No, you must have it. We don't need it. I don't like being left in the dark. Neither do I. But you do want Pete to save the boy, don't you? Oh, yes. Jolly uncomfortable, I can tell you. I'm sure it must be. Just a moment. I don't know what I would have done if. Here, where are you? I'll be back in a moment. I thought perhaps if you had something to put under your leg. Tell me if it hurts. You bet I will. I I'll be as gentle as I possibly can. Ah. Nelly. Ah. There. How's that? Oh, I say. That's miles better. Thanks. Thanks awfully. But what is it? Where did you get it from? If we could get your shoe off. Do you think you could move? Ah. Have you got a pocket knife? Yes. Where's the boy that found me? My brother. He's gone for help. I hope there's not going to be another train. I'm sure they'll be as quick as they possibly can. I've got it. Here. Let me try with this. Are you 
still there? I'm still here. Can you sit up now? <coughs> well done. I say, we haven't been introduced. My name's Jim. And mine's Bobby. Bobby? That's a funny sort of name for a girl. Well, my real name's Roberta. Oh, I see. It's rather nice. Look, if I help you, could you try and move again? <gasps> oh, Peter took the matches. Uh, have you got any? I'm afraid not. If you feel scared or anything, just hang on to my hand. It, it, it is a bit spooky. We're there! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Can't you read? Trespassers will be prosecuted. We're not trespassers. We've come to tell you to stop the train. What sort of a game is this? There's a slow train for Maybridge in ten minutes, so you'd better look slippy. Eight minutes, to be exact. See, it's the boy in the tunnel. He boy? can't move. He was in a paper chase, and he went into the tunnel and didn't come out. And what's more, Bobby's in there now, looking after him. She's our sister. Mr. Perks? Signal box, Meadowvale Junction here. I've just stopped the 1215 from Mainbridge on account of an obstruction in the tunnel. They've been gone an awful long time, haven't they? It seems ages. What were you saying about school? Oh, nothing really. It's a bit of a bore. But it's great when my grandfather comes down. He takes me and a lot of the other chaps out to a terrific great spread in the town. You see, my father died. Oh, I'm sorry. What does your father do? He's away. Abroad? Could you try and get up now? You're against the wall. I've got to, haven't I? Yes, I'm afraid so. Oh, that's splendid. Marvellous. Now lean on me. Oh, I, I'm sorry. It's my fault. I shouldn't have made you move. I'm all right. But I don't think I can try again. But you must. You must. We've been here since the ages. There's a train coming, isn't there? Did you hear something? I'm not certain. Keep quiet. Hello there. It's Mr. Perks. We're all right now. All right. Bobby. Yes? Before they get here, I just want to thank you for being such an absolute brick. I haven't done anything. I won't forget this, ever. Well, I don't suppose I shall, either. But you don't mean they're bringing him here. But I, I thought that's what you'd want. Oh, no, I, I couldn't possibly have him here. But why not? You had our Russian gentleman. Well, no, that was something quite different. But why, Mother? Why? Anyway, where could I possibly put him? In Peter's room. Peter could have the camp bed. Oh, could he? Or in our room. Fred and I could sleep downstairs in the kitchen. Oh, Mother, I thought that's what you'd want. I thought you always wanted us to help people. Hasn't he got a family of his own, this boy? He lives with his grandfather. His mother and father are dead. Here they are. Right, here you go. Had I better Just send them away? Just a minute. Here he done it. Ah, there. That's better. Hello? Hello? You upstairs, Mom? Yes, uh, hello, Mr. Perks. How kind of you. Bring him up here, would you? Uh, to Master Peter's room? Yeah, all right, Mom. All right. All right oh, thank you, Mother. You thank you. You needn't do anything. Phil and I can do all the work. We'll take him his meals and everything. We can, honestly. Can we Give go? me a tea. All right. Steady on that. Steady on. You can go hold that bed. That's it. Oh, there. Sit down there. In the middle. That's it. Good lad. Right. But, uh, no, miss. Oh. Please. It's very painful, that. Let me get that up. There you are. Sorry I shouted, miss. Oh. There you are. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Perk. That's right, miss. That's all right. That's indeed. very kind of you. I'll go back and see you Hello, Jim. Hello. I am glad they brought you here. 
Now, I'm going to make you comfortable before the doctor arrives. Out you go, girls. Jehoshaphat, this is heavy. Let's see, what did you ask for? Wine gums. The boy's own paper. And I suppose you're going to take them up to him. Which is that hat? Probably the doctor's. Don't be feeble. His top is shabbier than that. Well, it might be his best one. How do you know he isn't going on to a wedding? Children, are you there? Uh, we're, we're back, Mother. We've got your things. My dear, we've got an unexpected visitor. Phyllis, dear, pull your stockings up. Oh, it's not the slightest good. They won't stay. Peter, here. Oh, who is it, Mother? It's Jim's grandfather. He says he's a friend of yours. Friend of ours? <laughs> well, I'm blown. Mr. Inglewood. You mean your old gentleman? Oh, yes. I'm glad it's you. I mean, when you think of all the old gentlemen there are in the world, might have been almost anyone, mightn't it? Arr. Arr. <laughs> <laughs> are you Jim's grandfather, then? I am, my boy, for my sins. And I tell him he's a lucky young fellow, my lad, to be nursed by someone like that mother of yours. Oh, I haven't done anything at all, Mr. Inglewood. The girls have looked after him completely. <laughs> well, Bobby has, anyway. Stop it. Well, I won't interrupt you, good folk, any longer. But I must thank you for all you've done for my grandson. Jim's been singing your praises, I can tell you. One and all. Now, where did I leave my hat? Oh, here we are, sir. Sir? Thank you, young lady. Thank you. As soon as the doctor says he's fit enough to be moved, I'll have him sent back to the school, of course. Oh, no, sir, don't do that. Please. We love having him here. Don't we, Bobby? Yes, don't we? <sighs> yes, dear, of course, we all do. Well, now, I left my horseless carriage at the top of the hill. I wonder, would Miss Bobby be good enough to walk a few paces of the way with me? I'm sure she'd be delighted, wouldn't you, darling? Yes, Mother. Bye. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Inglewood. Can I see Jim at the school? Of course, that can be arranged. Thank you, sir. I'd like a word or two with you, my dear, in private. Can we go to my car? He wants to talk to her for. Well, we don't know, do we, dear? And anyway, it's none of our business. Mother, may I go off and take these things to Jim? Oh, yes, dear, of course you may. Thanks awfully. Only come down as soon as the doctor arrives. Right, I will. Phil, what's the matter with you? Seems everyone's gone funny since Jim's been here. If I had a dog, I'd have someone to talk to. Someone who would really love me. You spoke to me about your father. Yes, yes. Well, I've been going into the matter, my dear, and I hope I may have some news for you before long. You mean good news? Well, I hope so. I hope so. Oh, I knew you'd be able to do something. I knew you would. We mustn't allow ourselves to get too excited, not yet. And mind, not a word to your mother in case anything goes wrong. This is a secret between you and me. Oh, dear, it's going to be terribly difficult. Never mind, my dear. It's worth it. Now, we'll keep our fingers crossed. I will. And thank you. Well, I'm sorry to have to tell you, but I'm afraid that foot is well enough to go back to school. Oh, well, I suppose so, sir. We've loved having him, Doctor, and he's been no trouble at all. Well, I'll telephone your grandfather and ask him to send the motor car for you this afternoon. This afternoon? Oh, all right, sir. Oh, all good things come to an end. Eh, Jim? I suppose so, sir. Thank you for everything. Oh. Is it all right? Can I come in? Yes, you can come in now. Thank you, sir. A cup of grog for the invalid. Not much better, Doctor, is he? Well, I'm afraid he is, Peter. Oh, no. Oh, bad luck. Never mind, you can always visit him at school, eh? I'll come down with you, Doctor. What's up? What did he say? Got to go. This afternoon. This afternoon? That's what old Sawbones says. What a bally, filthy, rotten swizz. 
Just when I've got a chap to talk to. Well, I suppose I'd better say goodbye. Oh, yes. Well, goodbye then, Bobby. And thank you for being so awfully decent. That's right. Oh, CB Fry. Rose had him out. LBW. Second ball. Oh, Absolutely plummy. Is it a good ball? Of course. Oh. Where are the boys? Outside. Waiting for the car? Yes. Aren't you going to say goodbye? I have. There's no need to do that, dear. Why don't you go outside and wait, too, till the car comes? They're talking cricket. You don't want to pay any attention to that. I'm sure Jim would like you to wave him off properly. Come on. Get up. Take that apron off. It's here! The car's come! It's at the top of the track! On you go, young lady. The others were looking for you just now. They went on ahead. I know. Darling. I'm all right. Really, I am. Go and find them for me, will you? I told them we'd start lessons today, so they're probably down by the railway. And look, would you hand this list in at the shop and collect a parcel of books for me at the station? Yes, of course. Bye. Mother wants you. Lessons. Ugh. Here comes the green dragon. She signalled for it. Uh, she, she can't be, sir. It's only Miss, Miss Roberto coming. That train can't arrive till Master Peter and little Miss get here. That is as may be. But timetables are timetables. They've been worked out by head office and are not interfered with. I shall take up my place on the platform. You will attend to the luggage. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, might I remind you of a railway regulation referring to the wearing of hats on heads when on duty, sir? I shall look after my duties, Perks. I suggest you look after yours. Oh, well, uh, quickly, Miss, quickly, Miss, she's signalled. I didn't think you would ever get here. Where are the others? What others? What do you mean? God bless you, Miss. I read it here in the papers. I've never been so glad of anything in all my born days. Oh, one I must have, Miss. And no offence, I know, like, on a, on a day like this, like. Hey, Harvey? Now, you aren't offended, are you, miss? Like, I haven't taken too great a liberty, like, on, like, a day like this, like. No, of course it's not a liberty, dear Mr. Perk. Uh, we love you quite as much as if you were an uncle of our own. Uh, only on a day like what? <laughs> like this here, miss. I tell you, I've been reading it in the paper. Yes! Uh, just, <laughs> yes, sir. Daddy! Oh, Daddy! My Daddy! My darling child. I told you! 
It's quite true. Largely due to your kind friend, Mr. Inglewood. Dear gentlemen. Sir, may I extend the sincere congratulations to the station staff and our heartfelt relief that the grave miscarriage of justice has been righted. Yeah, yeah. Thank you both very much. My ticket. Oh, no, no. no. Uh, thank you. Oh. Why didn't you write? It wasn't even time for that. Oh, Daddy. They've caught the man who did it. Everybody knows now that it wasn't your daddy. I always knew it wasn't. Me and Mummy. And the old gentleman. Oh, come on. You must go in, Bobby. And tell Mother quite quietly. It's all over. Peter! Phil! Daddy! Daddy, Mommy, Daddy! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh.